So I understand your concern and I have received your videos and thank you for sharing your video here. It's easier for me to understand your concern and I think it's better to communicate through the video sometime like face to face. It's better than doing the emails. So now let's go to the point that you said you worry about the discussions that other students being posed and you still concerned, you're not sure how to solve that discussion question. So now let me explain the topic of the discussion for this week. So we were talking about what's the difference, okay, what's the difference between flowchart and pseudocode. So now first thing, what is flowchart and what's pseudocode? Flowchart is pretty much just the way that you want to translate your logical thinking into a paper in a in a form of the diagrams. Okay, so let me show out an example. Right, for example, uh, this is going to be a flowchart. Okay, so I want to translate an idea. Okay, so what my idea? I want to make sure that I want to create an application that the user can get the sum of two numbers. Okay, so that's the idea, how to get the sum of two numbers. So the user should be able to understand what is the first number which is going to enter in the system. So now we decide an application that taking the input from the user. So the first number is going to be the application is going to start with flowchart say start. And then we can use an oval to represent the starting. And then we use the parallelogram symbols to read first number from the user. And then now the user also need to provide a second number, right? So then the flowchart is going to have the arrow pointing down again, say read second number. After those two numbers have been arrayed, so we have to process that. To process flowchart, we're going to use the diagram we call rectangle shape. And this is going to be sum equal to first number plus second number. All right, so once we get the sum, the application is going to display the sum. And this play, we just going to use the parallel program again. So we are going to say display sum. And then the program stop. So let's recap this one more time. We use an oval to get to start point and end point. And we use the parallel program for reading input and display output. And we use rectangle to do the process. And the main application, when you write an application, we technically want to read input, process it, and give the output to the user. So this is called flowchart. And the discussion topic is want you to discuss the difference between flowchart and pseudocode. So let's look at the pseudocode then. So this pseudocode, they are spelled P-S-E-U-D-O-C-O-D-E. -E. When you pronounce, you just silence the P, you just say pseudocode. So now pseudocode, how are we going to understand pseudocode? Like I said, flowchart is going to explain the logical thinking into a diagram. Pseudocode is the same thing. It's just an alternate tool that will explain your logical thinking into the statements. Just like the list of things to do, the list of shopping, like you, you want to do the grocery, you need a shopping list, same thing. This is a list of things to do, like First, I want to read, right? The system needs to read, right? Read number one. And then read number two from the user. And then we got to sum, just step by step like that. Sum number one plus number two. And then we just going to say print, which is we're going to print the output, which is print the sum. That's it. That is pseudo code. And this is full chart. Now, I hope this video will help you to understand the difference between pseudocode and flowchart, and you should be able to keep the discussion on time by Thursday midnight. Thank you.